Okay, let's see if we can explain this one. Here's our tensor field generator. Let's see, we're gonna go through, we'll just snip this guy right here. All right, so I can show you how this dude works. All right, so we got our three rings. Uh, no matter which ring you hold on to, there's two rings inside of it. Um, so that's how you put the initial three rings together. So quick and easy deal there. Now then, once you have those three rings together that are all interlocking each other, you take two of them and you hold them up as such. Now then, your third one, your third one you'll want to position. Um, you'll have to figure out which way to position this sucker. You'll have to flip it around and play with it. But basically, you want it to go over, under, under, over. So on one ring, on one of this, let's say this guy right here, uh, this ring here, the third one that you're positioning, will go over on this side and under on the other side of this ring. Um, so when you're done with this whole thing, each ring will go over, under, over, under, over, under each one of them. Okay. So let's uh, hold our first two rings here, and then we'll take our third ring, and we'll just put them there. Let's try this position. So it's over, under, over, under. Um, now then you'll just take your fourth ring and you'll just start to play with it here and see okay we're going under over under over under over cool first try man sometimes you can play this thing all day long and not get them to work out so we've over undered it all the way through and then just solder that sucker there together or abrase them together right there and there you be simple as pie